Hello everybody, this is Sirik1983, and welcome back to Final Fantasy X. Okay, so, from last time, I got Lulu ground up to Fira, awesome, and as far as the we fire weapons go, I got a... I didn't get anything for Orin, however, I did get a Heat Lance for Kamari and a Fireball for Waka, and it's the uh, dual horns that drop the uh, Fire Strike equipment. Uh, and when I got uh, Lulu up to Fira, I still hadn't gotten anything from for Orin, so I thought, ah, I'd fight one more dual horn and I... Uh, yeah, he didn't drop anything, so I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just come back here. So, obviously, you might be able to guess, uh, the upcoming boss fight, the enemy is weak to fire, so obviously the weapon priority should be fire strike and then a uh, damage boost, so I ended up just buying a shimmering blade for Orin at the shop here. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, also while, while I was grinding, we got Yuna, the healer overdrive mode. Ah. Forgot to equip it, but to her overdrive mode, her overdrive gauge is full, filled anyway. Everybody's overdrive gauges are filled. Um, also, sphere grid. I finally got a chance to use uh, the uh, strength sphere that I got from the Blitzball tournament, so I put it right there on the open node. And uh, all right, so Sirix got the highest strength stat right now. And is that it? Uh, I think it is. All right, and uh, yeah, I've got uh, Sirix, Lulu, and Kamari as my uh, active party right now. All right, let's go. Whoa, what the hell is that? Looks like a deformed Langlier. For those that remember that movie, Stephen King. Awesome. Alright, this is Chocobo Eater. There's two ways to kill him. One is the conventional way, he's got 10,000 HP, and you can overkill him, it's 800 damage. Uh, how, however, the way I want to defeat him is by pushing him off the cliff. There's one drawback with that is that he can push you back as well, so it's like a, a tug of war almost. And the problem with him pushing you back is it really puts a strain on uh, being able to uh, push him off the cliff because you'll end up running out of uh, he'll end up running out of HP before you're able to do it. So I'm hoping he won't push me back more than once or twice. So let's do this. All right, can first cast haste on Lulu, and then use Fira. Uh, should I use Fira? No, I'll just use fire. 1200 damage. 1200 damage will knock him on his ass. And then, uh, okay, so I'm gonna bring in Waka for this one. I just wanted to make sure that Lulu had the first strike there. So, use element reels here. Alright, so, yeah, line up the red ones. That's fire. I think there's a trick that if you leave a, if you get two of them lined up, the third one, if you just let the timer run out, it automatically uh, lands on the right one, so now, there's a little trick there for you. you so yeah, 1200 damage to knock him over, 500 damage to push him back. Yes, he hasn't pushed me back yet. Alright, Kamari. Just use the weapon, uh, use fire. Oops, not Sierra, come on. This should knock him over. Let's push him back. Damn it. Oh, well, I still should be able to do something. Uh, I bring in Yuna now, I've got time to let her defend. Alright, uh... Fire. Let's bring in Kamari again, because he's got the best strike. Fire. Alright, and... Yeah, let's push him back with the horn. Yes, push him back. He's right on the edge. You just gotta knock him over and push him off now if he doesn't push you back. Yes! Alright, let's bring in Sirik. This should knock him over. Use Spiral Cup. Yes! Alright. And then bring in Lulu to finish it off. Uh oh! There you go. <laughs> Uh, I like that little comic book ending. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Let's 
So yeah, uh, you have no idea how many times I had to start over because he kept pushing me back pretty much every single round. So yeah, if you end up killing him like the conventional way, you don't get the level 1 key spheres. If you kill him this way, you get the level 1 key spheres. That's what I wanted. So there we go. And uh, yeah, so if you want the level 1 key spheres, obviously if you end up killing him, hopefully you saved it back at the agency, you know, but just, just before coming in here and uh, reload and try again. So just takes persistence, that's all. Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? As a token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Oh, sweet. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. She sounds really familiar. Anyways, uh... Yeah. Alright, uh... Oh yeah, what did I get? I got a weapon, I know that. Uh... Where is it? Right to some scrolls quicker. Uh, what did I get? Oh yeah, katana. I just sold it, damn it. <laughs> Alright, uh, is there anything else I need? Um, no, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to use the chocobo rental yet, so I guess... Oh, well, we did all that, so I guess we'll keep going <laughs> on the pilgrimage. Uh... Don't need to heal up or anything, so there's no point in going back to the agency to save it, so... Alright. Yeah, that isn't really the halfway point, but... Ah, well. Oh, yeah, it might be a good idea to remove the heat stuff, just in case we run into, like, <laughs> you know, bombs. Yeah. Can't kill something that's made of fire with fire. Uh, should I use the ice strike still? Uh, no. Because his enemies are weak to thunder, so there's no point to have brother. I imagine it. Okay. We're good. So, yeah, as I was saying, the, the agency isn't. Yeah, it wasn't really the uh, midpoint, so. Yeah, it's because this part of the high road is much shorter. your day. <laughs> but yeah, the reason why I'm walking up here is, well, one, because I don't want to use the, uh, B, I don't want to use it yet, because, uh, well, the more fights I fight now, the less of grinding I'll have to do in the future. Alright. What's this? I'll bed Primer Volume 9. There we go. Could have probably avoided that one, but I'll. Yep. Word has gotten around about me. Now all the Crusaders are ignoring me. <laughs> that sounded dirty, anyways. Hmm? Would you like to hear about the high road? Sure. We are currently traveling a part of the Mehan High Road called the New Road. Naturally, that suggests that there is or was an old road. Cool. The road that runs below this new road is the original Meehan High Road. Hence, the road that Lord Meehan walked is not this road, but the old road. Cool. The new road was built to replace the old road destroyed by sin 500 years ago. But sometimes, standing on the old road and reminiscing about the past can be a pleasurable pastime. The new road was built to replace the old road destroyed by sin 500 years ago. But sometimes, standing on the old road and reminiscing about the yeah, past yeah, yeah, yeah. can be a pleasure. This is the one possible. drawback of uh, not having subtitles. <laughs> you can't fast forward. Hey, there's a treasure chest down there. Oh, I wonder if I'll be able to get it. Uh, 
Alright, let's keep going. And we made it. Yay, here's a treasure chest. What do we got? Two high potions. Nice. Alright, we made it. Hey, who's that? I guess we'll have to find out next time. This is Herrick 1983 signing off. Have a good one.